Um, probably my biggest strength in the kitchen is being able to work as a team. Um, I definitely want everyone to know where I'm at in something and um, I think communication in the kitchens, especially in the professional world, is very important about calling out things and what other people are doing and where they're at with something. Like need to know where everyone else is with the product to know what you need to be doing or what you should have been doing. So I think it's important to communicate uh, very effectively to know, keep a very organized kitchen, to know where everything is, to be relying on yourself that you put it there a week ago and be able to go find it again in the same exact spot. So um, being able to have access to your ingredients is very important. I don't know, when I first started, I guess I liked pie the most. I loved making pies, but now I feel like pies are just so simple after all of the stuff that we've done in school so far. So it's hard for me to pinpoint uh, one particular section that would be something I like the most. Just clean and organized, um, specializing in pastries and, and baked goods, um, something unique. Having top of the line equipment, definitely, because all the technology that's out there these days just makes everything so much easier. I've started to realize something as simple as like a dough sheeter. You don't even realize how handy that is in a pastry shop or in a bake shop kitchen. Um, how it makes something making like croissant dough or something like that so much easier to, rather than hand rolling it. I think it's important to have both environments. I think um, to have a hectic environment sometimes, but also have like a peaceful, calming environment sometimes, depending on you know what you're producing and um, how fast you need it to be produced. Um, as far as the people go, I love working with people that are really knowledgeable, um, even if they're just specialized, but they're really knowledgeable in that specialization. I really like working with people that know what they're talking about and not just trying to fill you, your brain with stuff that's they think is important that's not really important. I mean so far everything has just been a, a really good stepping stone for me. I don't think I really have like a success story yet. Um, currently I'm working at a bakery and everything that I do every day there has been a huge stepping stone for me. Um, I get to meet lots of really interesting people. Um, I get to see how a small business is run, uh, how she markets herself so it's really more of a stepping stone rather than a, a success story for me right now. I think my degree from the Art Institute has uh, been a huge success for me though because, um, I hate to use the word success because I, I just said that I didn't have a success story, but I feel like they've given me knowledge that I need on a day-to-day -day basis at the bakery that I didn't even think about before I started culinary school. Um, the things that I've learned here, I'm going to be able to take with me anywhere I go and be able to use it, I know, on a, on a weekly basis for sure. I mean, I've always had a passion for food. Uh, just recently, like in the last year or so, I um, definitely realized that I wanted it to become a career for me. I wanted to go to pastry school right out of high school, but instead I went to university and got my degree in art, and um, now I'm using I feel like I'm using my art degree even more to this point because I'm just making like edible art for the most part. So I can use my artistic skills to create something beautiful, but it's uh, impermanent. It's going to get eaten and destroyed, but I mean there's something to be said about that. I think it's a great inexpensive way to produce art, honestly, like if you think about uh, artists, sculpture artists, glass blowing artists. Um, canvas artists, like all that stuff is so expensive and now uh, I can I can produce little pieces of art very inexpensively and not wor having to worry about where it's going to go or um, it being purchased, it's just going to get eaten and then it's done. I think it's hard because I would definitely want to choose all three but I think lifestyle is probably more appropriate for me just because it infiltrates like every piece of my life, like it, it's what I do every day. So it's not just an art or a business for me, it's definitely a lifestyle just because it completely enrobes me.
That's a wrap.